the only country on the planet that refers to that bird as the red tail hawk. Everywhere else it's referred to properly as it should be, as the red tail buzzard. The term hawk should be used to describe exhibitors, birds with short broad wings, really, really long tails, designed to hunt for other things with wings. How many of you have a bird feeder at home? How many of you have found feathers on the ground under that bird feeder? <laughs> that means you have an exhibitor or a true hawk in your neighborhood. As an upside, it's still a bird feeder. <laughs> My mom hates that joke. <laughs> she goes, you go to college, you get two degrees in animal behavior, you crack flies in your show. I'm like, yeah, that's my show, mom. <laughs> now, needless to say, uh, these guys are kind of similar to a red tail. Obviously, you can see that she's got that bird red tail, right? She's big, just like red tails are. Now, we talked about how red tails are sitting alongside the road. You guys have seen them right up in trees, right? We all have because those birds are A to B hunters. These guys do not hunt like that. They will actually go up really, really high in the sky, catch what's called a thermal wind. You'll commonly see birds soaring high overhead on those thermals. All birds of prey have incredible eyesight. So to put that in perspective for you, if this bird was sitting on that perch, and you took your favorite paperback book and put it all the way out there on the top of that white tent, she could read the fine print in that perch. Now, of course, if she could read, this would be a whole different show. <laughs> and I have a house of teaching. <laughs> Thank you, four people. I also have a nonprofit organization called the Liberal Raptor Conservancy that I would like to face in Fiji. We'll talk later. I'm kidding. It's all not about the nonprofit thing, but about the people. Now, these guys, once they spot their prey, they do something utterly amazing. They will actually fold their wings and fall out of the sky. It's like now. Now when they get down to an altitude of about 50 or 60 feet, they're going to put these big broad wings right back over the deck. And using that extra speed, I told you she was vocal. Using that extra speed, they will chase down and overtake their prey. This actually gives the African auger to take prey items three times their size. They are widely respected as one of the most intelligent and aggressive hunters that we share our planet with. These guys are one of my favorite videos on the planet. There are 65 of these guys here in North America currently. I actually own this bird's parents. And uh, I believe we're currently the only one breeding them in captivity. Now, the reason they're my favorite goes back to the aggressiveness and the intelligence. Uh, this bird is a daddy's girl. Yeah, ask anybody who's sitting in my display right now. I can do whatever I want to this bird. Nobody's gonna die. Anybody else walks up and tries to do that, and emergency camera. All right. Now, one of the things I get asked all the time is about training. How would you guys like to learn a little bit about training? Good, I was going to do it anyway. 